ladies and gentlemen, what you're looking at in this picture is the final resting place for George Floyd. His mother is in the same cemetery and he has been buried next to her. You know, the very woman he was crying out to on those streets. You know, what a tragic ending for this man. But we must never forget what happened to him and must keep fighting the system for justice. One thing I can honestly say is I am happy to see how strong this country has come together and taken to the streets for the injustice that has been happening to Black people for centuries. It certainly did not start with George Floyd, but raising the awareness and just making them the ones that are for this kind of stuff a little more uncomfortable each and every day is a step in the right direction. You know, you know, it, it looks very much like the Southern military, um, not military, I'm sorry, cemeteries that I have seen throughout my life. You know, of my different family members being buried and it looks very similar to some of the ones I went down to in the South. I believe this is the Houston Memorial Garden Cemetery and the final service. I mean, this man had three services. There was a memorial service in Minneapolis, one in Houston, and, and one in North Carolina where he was originally born. And what a tragedy. I really pray for his children. You know, it's so hard for me to do these stories. And it's not that I don't want to do them. It's just real difficult, especially um, just watching that video of him dying. I think they said it was eight minutes and 49 seconds, something like that, that um, Derek Chauvin was on his neck. And since that point in time, we have seen other videos where police have someone down on the ground and all of a sudden their knee is on a person's neck, seen it multiple times now. And this is something they have been doing for a long time in policing y'all. And they're just being called out on it now. You know, I'm sorry about that as long people out there. Um, you know, George Floyd is one of many that we have seen over the years get executed on video. And just like all of the other tragedies, I pray for his family. And I hope in all of this turmoil that they will find peace. <sighs> But ladies and gentlemen, may George Floyd finally rest in power. You know, no matter what this man did in his life, he certainly did not deserve to go out the way that he did. You know, it, it's something that must stop. Cops cannot be the executioner of Black people in this country, but that's what they have turned into, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm glad that there are people that are being very proactive in this whole thing. If it wasn't for that, this would be another case that would not get very much attention. But because of everything going on in the country where people are not working and have a lot of time to be out in the streets, by the way, it's getting a lot of much needed attention. And hopefully it will continue to do so. And I pray that Breonna Taylor, as well as Ahmaud Aubrey, gets a lot of attention in this country. You know, it must be a stop to police violence and people that want to be police, like the McMichaels, out on the streets executing somebody like they had the authority to do so. This stuff must come to an end but rest in power, George Floyd. And ladies and gentlemen, this concludes my video and I sure hope many of you stay safe out here and I will keep each and every one of you in my prayers. 
please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.